are at the Kamloops Art Gallery once again, joined by Cheryl Neville. It's lovely to see you again. You too. Yes, and we're taking a look at a couple of exhibits, but the first one uh, that we're looking at today with Chero uh, is called Unreal, and it usually resides in Vancouver. Uh, let's talk a little bit about it. Yeah, it's a collection of work from the Vancouver Art Gallery's permanent collection. So what they did is it's on tour to us and other venues across the province. They organized this exhibition when they had their surrealism show and it was a way of drawing from their permanent collection and looking at these tendencies within practices over across five decades uh, that really tap into surrealist uh, methodologies. Right. It says here that it's uh, about artists who explore beyond the realm of what is considered real. Um, yeah. So behind us would be the first thing I'd like to ask you about. I love this. It's a series yeah. of clouds that are hanging from the sky. I would like to have this in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. It it's is. very ethereal. Uh, it's a work by Gathy Falk, who's actually an um, artist who's still producing really prolifically. She lives in Vancouver. She's in her 80s. This was done in 1972 and it's called Low Clouds, and it was actually made as part of a performance. So she was a performance artist at the time. There was a lot of happenings going on in the Vancouver Art Gallery. And so there's actually a label on the wall that shows a, a photo from that time. And she included other artists in this performance, and there were different objects that were part of the performance. There were people sewing clouds. And then uh, throughout the performance, the, these clouds would be raised and lowered. Mm. So we actually do that as part of um, their time here, as we raise them and lower from time to time. They go up and down. Very nice. Yeah. While people are in here, do they go up and down or you just choose the days and we're going to do them up It's high random. Here. That's fun. Yeah. Random's fun. It keeps the work alive. Yes, it she, does. She talked about it like um, cloud ballet. Nice. That's how she described it. Nice. Yeah. And I know there's so many other parts of this exhibit uh, that we could talk about, but you've selected a few that you want to discuss. So when you enter, you'll actually, uh, you can go into this dark room with beanbag chairs, and that is a work by Marina Roy. It's an animation. It's called Che Voi, which is uh, translated more or less as what do you want? And it's tapping into this idea of our hidden desires. And so what Marina did was she worked with um, Graham Meisner, who's a composer, and asked him to create a piece of music that she would then respond to through her animation. And it was this idea of him trying to tap into what she would want him to make. And so often he'll make music after she's animated a film. But they switched it around. And uh, there's all kinds of imagery that she uses, um, particularly um, imagery from medical textbooks. It's quite playful, but also it plays with this repulsion attraction mm -hmm. feeling. And another work that you won't miss is called Lubber, and it's this giant uh, felt sculpture that's right on the floor, and it's by Luanne Martineau. And it looks like it's part machine, part organism. Um, it's got this big, wide kind of belly and all these tentacles that look like they could be parts of machines. Um, then there's these breast-like kind of things on it. It's all made out of felt. It has this feeling of being really comfortable and like you want to touch it, but also very unreal, very odd. Um, and it's playing with high art, low art, it's felt, it's on the floor, it looks like maybe a pillow. The, the psychoanalytic theory was all about this other realm that exists that's Ill illogical, not rational, and it plays on the unconscious, the, that realm of our dreams uh, that we can't necessarily control. Fantastic. Any other exhibit, uh, part of the exhibit you want to talk about? Well, there is a work that matches your dress, coincidentally, okay, fun. <laughs> <laughs> by Eric Metcalf, who is an artist who's uh, in Vancouver. He was one of the founders of the Western Front, which was this kind of uh, hotbed for activity in the 1970s. It's an artist-run center. And he had an alter ego named Dr. Brute. And he would be seen playing this make-believe saxophone, you'll see it's, it's wooden, and it's painted in leopard skin pattern. Uh, and it has a kazoo instead of an actual mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. And then it, it goes into this beautiful leopard skin box that's kind of fur and 
now we don't have him performing, but we have the remnant of the performance. There is a part of this exhibit that's into itself, like a separate room, and uh, there's t a table with um, uh, pencils on it. What, that, what is that about? Yeah, we've just uh, offered it up for people to come in all ages. There's pencils and paper, there's a date stamp, and it's kind of riffing on this art lodge. They were a collective of artists out of Winnipeg who used to get together and draw. And so the invitation is to come in and draw your dreams. And you can see already the walls are filling up with people's drawings. It's incredible. We give them tape and you just tack them right up on the wall. There's books in there to read about all the artists in the show, and there's um, some videos on some of the artists as well. Lots to see. I wanna hide the truth, I wanna shelter.